All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and review AVG Internet Security 2018. Now, if you want to download a free trial so you can try it just like I am trying it, go to Google and type in AVG Internet Security and then click on this link here, the one that says AVG Internet Security Software Online Protection Free Trial. Click on that, then click on the free trial button right here. Once you download it, this is what it looks like here. This is the full, complete version of AVG. This is the paid version that we're going to be trying out. Now the free version, I tried it out uh, a while ago, and it screwed up my computer. I don't know if you guys have seen that video, but I downloaded AVG Antivirus Free 2018, and man, it screwed up my computer. I couldn't even run my screen recorder to even show you guys what was going on that's how bad it was I had to go in safe mode and uninstall it but here we are with the full version and voila the full version works well so I guess you get what you pay for but let's go ahead and look through this paid version of AVG now in 2018 this year it has changed a little bit but it's still user friendly that's what I've always liked about AVG how it's user friendly everything is right here as you can tell, basic protection, if you had the free edition, all you can use would be this right here, the basic protection. But since we have the full protection, we have these unlocked right here. Hacker attacks, privacy, and payments. Now, there's a big scan computer button right here. When you hit that button, it looks like it does... There's a lot of different scanning options, but when you hit that big button, it looks like it it looks to see if you have browser add-ons first. Then it actually scans your whole computer. My guess is that this is the quick scan. I don't think it's the it's the complete scan, which what I recommend is you use the complete scan because it's going so fast. You see that the percentage it's going kind of fast. So it did find some performance issues there. To fix that, you would just click on it and um, click on resolve, and that will resolve those issues there. Now I'm going to go back before I hit resolve there. Like I said, I'm just I'm going to say to ignore an exit here. Don't hit the big scan computer button here. What I recommend you do is you hit the little sprocket here next to it. And you do a deep scan for it says right there more intensive malware scan that's what you want to do you want to do an intensive scan guys a full scan of your whole computer that's what you guys want to do and that can take depending on how fast your computer is that can take anywhere from 15 minutes up to a couple of hours so we'll just let that keep run on, on its own right there I'm gonna stop it just so we can take a look because that's gonna take forever so I'm just gonna hit done here Let's go back to the sprocket. There's also a USB or DVD scan if you want to scan your thumb drive or even a DVD, which is pretty cool. If you want to tell it specifically what file or folder to scan, you can go through here and tell it specifically what you want it to scan, which is pretty cool. We can do a performance scan to see if uh, there's any performance issues that, that need to be addressed there. And it's the same thing it showed us a while ago. Basically, it wants to clean up uh, disk space there, and I have outdated software, which it wants to fix there. And to fix it, you just hit install to fix. And that is going to install the, ma the maintenance part of it. It's installing right now, or downloading right now. It's almost done. Okay, so in order to do that right there, you need to get AVG PC Tuna, which I I, th I thought I did have installed here, but that's another video right there. I've already made a review on PC Tuna, so if you guys want to take a look at that, uh, look at my video for PC Tuna. I'm just going to exit right there. So the performance scan, you will need PC Tuna for that. 
If you go up here to where it says my AVG, it'll tell you what you have. So I have installed antivirus right now. I know I have PC TuneUp installed. I don't know why it's not showing it there, but I do have that installed. All right. And you can also do a boot time scan. That's to scan um, when the computer boots up. That's for more crazy viruses that you might have that are hard to get rid of. So let's take a look at each one of these modules here and see what AVG does. So it protects your computer using what's called a file shield. So every time you install something new or add a new file to your computer, it'll scan it automatically, which is nice. Also, a behavior shield, this, uh, like it says here, warns you if any application behaves maliciously. So if AVG catches a program acting a little suspicious, it'll block it and tell you. Now it's got web and email protection. So it's got a web shield there, blocks unsafe downloads, and an email, sh uh, email shield. So if you happen to download an attachment that has a virus in it, it'll pick it up quick, which is pretty good. Protects you against hackers, so it does have a firewall. It has a built-in firewall, and if you want to look at those options, you click on this downward arrow right here, and you can look at network connections, logs, and application rules. For example, application rules here, you could choose which applications you want it to run or not. And it's got ransomware protection, which is really good, guys. Today, we have a really big threat with ransomware. Basically, ransomware is a virus that takes over your files and encrypts them. And you have to buy a key to encrypt them. And even if you do give the perpetrator money, he might not, he might not even unlock them for you. He might just keep your money. So this good that uh, AVG has that protection. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it. So it's on right now, and it's, it's set for smart mode right now, which trusted apps can change or delete files for protected folders, but untrusted apps require your permission. So this will block uh, ransomware from doing anything. Now you can get a little strict with it. If you go to strict mode, anything that tries to change or delete files will be blocked. We'll keep it a smart mode for now, but if you know, if you're if you want to be super safe, strict mode would be the way to go, but although that would probably stop you guys from doing some, you know, basic tasks on your computer. You can tell it to protect folders here. You can add what folder you want it to protect. Let's say you have your work folder. You add it here immediately, guys. All right. Blocked and allowed apps. So here you can manually block or allow an app. So that's really cool. I like that. I like the ransomware protection. That is a must these days. Man, you can't go without that. Especially if you have work files on your computer or your laptop or whatnot. Or whatnot. You want to use that, guys, for sure. Let's take a look at the privacy. So it's got webcam protection. So your webcam won't turn on automatically and, you know, a peeping Tom looking at you or anything. That protects it. So that's cool. And data safe. Hides your private photos and files. So you can open these and take a look at the settings. Strict mode and no mercy. That's super strict right there. Nobody can open it, you know, for the webcam. And also for data safe, uh, you got to click on create safe here. You name it, create a password, and then uh, hit create safe, and then you can put stuff in there to keep it safe. Let's take a look at the payments module here. The anti-spam, of course, block spam and dangerous phishing emails, and a fake website shield. So there's a lot of fake websites out there, guys. So AVG will let you know if you're accidentally went to a fake website, because you don't want to give people information through a fake website. That's how they steal your password. It's been going a lot in Facebook. All right, that's about it, guys. Uh, one more thing: um, if you go to the scan here, you can actually schedule a scan through here. You can name it up here, comment here, tell it what to scan, which is right here. It's set for all hard disks. You scroll down here. Uh, make sure you select scan all files. I really recommend that. If you click on the scheduling uh, option here on the menu, here you could select when you want it to go. If you want it to be weekly, once, daily, or monthly. Do not start the scan if running on batteries in case you're using a laptop. Pause if the battery mode begins. Shut down the system after the scan finishes. The launch time, launch day. So you can also do that. Tons and tons of different settings. There's exceptions, report file, performance, 
scan priority if you wanted to just scan really fast for your computer run really slow or scan really slow and your computer still run a little fast when you're doing other things multitasking you get to choose there different types of actions uh, if you want to scan these type of files here and sensitivity here I mean there's a lot of stuff you could do here scan and of course we were, we were just looking at that and I think that's about it guys if I missed anything let me know also if you go to the menu button up here you can look at the settings again you can look at the quarantine what's in there uh, what else was in there if you need to use the file shredder here it is you select the file or folder you want to shred by clicking on this button here you select what you want to shred and then you shred it and what else support there's support and that's about it guys thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe let me know if I missed anything or if you guys have any questions go ahead and comment on the comment section of the video Thanks for watching this review and tutorial for ABG Internet Security 2018. I'll see you soon in my next video. Thank you.